Good afternoon from the National Weather Service office in Lake Charles. I'm meteorologist Donald Jones and this is your afternoon weather briefing for Sunday, August 28th on what is now Tropical Depression number 9. Invest 99L was recently upgraded to Tropical Depression 9 just a short time ago and now has maximum sustained winds of 35 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the forecast track for Tropical Depression 9. The somewhat unsure center of Tropical Depression number 9 is located at latitude 23.7 north and longitude 81.7 west. It's moving to the west at about 9 miles per hour and is forecast to continue moving to the west over the next 24 hours or so. Tropical Depression 9 is forecast to continue to slowly intensify and is expected to become a tropical storm by tomorrow afternoon. Now the forecast track for Tropical Depression 9 isn't particularly complicated, but it is a bit confusing. As you can see, it's going to continue on a westward to west-northwestward track here for another 48 hours or so until Tuesday afternoon before making a sharp curve off to the northeast and making landfall somewhere in the Big Bend region of Florida sometime Thursday evening. Now I know this makes a lot of people, especially in southeastern Louisiana, very nervous to see a tropical system moving in their general direction, but let me show you why we don't expect landfall in Louisiana. Right now, Tropical Depression 9 is being steered to the west by an area of high pressure located over the southeastern United States. Now over the coming few days, that high pressure area is going to slide off to the east and a cold front is going to begin to sink south. This is a look at where those systems are expected to be on Wednesday. Now watch as we go through Thursday, you can see the cold front slowly making its way to the south. It's actually going to pick up Tropical Depression 9 or the Tropical Storm, whatever the name winds up being, and pull it to the northeast into Florida by Thursday night into Friday. Now while it's certainly possible that this forecast could change, now that a center of circulation has been located, models have already come into much better agreement on the eventual track of this depression and the Big Bend region of Florida is the consensus. Let's take a look at the visible satellite of Tropical Depression 9 this afternoon. And as you can see, there's already a good little bit more convection than there was even this morning on what we're calling the eastern side of the storm located between the northern coast of Cuba and south of Key West. The circulation center itself is still relatively bare outside of the convection along the east side of it. If the storm does continue to intensify, you'll start to notice those clouds wrapping around the center of circulation as, as we go into tomorrow and through the middle of the week. Taking a look at the Key West radar this afternoon, and you can start to get an idea of where the center of circulation is and notice that the majority of the heavy rainfall is on the southern and eastern side of it. Now unfortunately as the storm continues to move to the west into the Gulf of Mexico we're going to lose this radar look at it as radars cannot get more than about 100 miles off the coast but it'll still be pretty easy to determine if those thunderstorms are wrapping around the system through satellite. Back here closer to home this afternoon we're continuing to see fairly widespread showers and thunderstorms associated with a disturbance that's moving inland along the coast of Texas this afternoon. Some parts of the area have already picked up a couple of inches of rain and a couple of more inches of rain can't be ruled out as we go throughout the night tonight and into tomorrow. Here's a look at the forecast rainfall totals through tomorrow and again the highest rainfall totals are going to be along the coast anywhere from about one to two inches along the coast and then decreasing as we move progressively farther north. Along the I-10 corridor, we'll be looking anywhere from about a half to three quarters of an inch, with a quarter of an inch or less expected across central Louisiana. And here's a quick look at our seven-day forecast. Again, very high rain chances continuing through the evening today, and then pretty good rain chances again tomorrow before rain chances drop off by Tuesday through the rest of the week. I also wanted to show you a quick satellite view of Hurricane Gaston, which as of this afternoon has become the first major hurricane of the 2016 Atlantic hurricane season. A major hurricane means that it has reached an intensity of Category 3 or greater, and Gaston is a Category 3 now with winds of 105 miles per hour. Of course, no threat to any land mass is expected from Gaston. So to summarize, Invest 99L has now become Tropical Depression number 9 with maximum sustained winds near 35 miles per hour. Tropical Depression 9 is forecast to become a tropical storm sometime tomorrow before eventually making landfall along the Big Bend area of Florida Thursday night, again as a tropical storm. At this point we are not expecting this system to become a hurricane, although it can't be completely ruled out. 
Of course, continue to stay up to date on the situation, as the forecast is always subject to change. We'll continue to do these briefings twice a day as the threat lingers, and our next briefing will be tomorrow morning. We hope everyone's had a great weekend, and we'll speak to you tomorrow.